Even the most experienced people that are doing this, when you come out of a room where a patient has Ebola, you're scared. It's a scary situation, yeah. right? So we really want to slow it down. And we, you know, I may have done removing my coveralls 10 times, but I might actually, when I get out there, go, oh my goodness, it's four o'clock in the morning. I can't remember what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So we need a process where the person on the outside can describe it to them. Healthcare workers like to carry all sorts of things on their body. So you make sure you empty your pockets, you have nothing on you but your hospital issued scrubs. And as the assistant, this is where I make sure that she's applying the uh, rules of hand hygiene, which would be a 15 second hand rub. Okay, so she's put enough Purell on her hands to make sure that she can disperse it over the entire surface of her hand, including the webs of her fingers, the tops of her hands, her thumbs, um, for the 15 second period. They feel that we've taken the time and we've listened to their comments and feedback um, over the last couple of weeks with what they want. We've also looked at what other centres are doing as far as removing their PPE and really tried to uh, make this as safe and uh, as seamless as possible for our healthcare workers. So they like having the steps, they like having a checklist that they check and they like having an assistant help them remove their PPE because that's the most important part. She can do this sitting or standing, so we do have um, chairs or sorry stools available outside the ante rooms for people who don't have great balance. To prevent the healthcare worker from getting any blood or body fluids or anything that's on their personal protective equipment, it's protective equipment. We don't want to use it like it's supposed to be used to protect the healthcare worker, so we want, when they remove it, that they don't get any blood or body fluids on their skin. It needs to be very step by step to make sure that the healthcare workers do every step appropriately, that they Clorox their gloves, that they wash their hands, and that's what we can do to minimize the risk of them coming into contact with any blood or body fluids that could be on their equipment.